Now it is time for me to introduce our next speaker for our next session called Maximizing EdTech in Your Own Classroom with Clever. And leading this session, we have with us Blair Mishlow. Blair is the Senior Customer Education Program Manager at Clever. He knows how to milk cows. He is a lifelong educator. He taught middle school, worked in, as an administrator and as an instructor, instructional designer, and he knows American Sign Language. So in this session with Clever, um, they will help us take our ed tech game to the next level. So I'm so excited for us to all learn about how we can discover new ed tech, save time getting students logged into programs, communicate with students, and access student data to gain insight on student engagement. So I'm going to pass it off to Blair, over to you. Awesome, thank you so much. It is so exciting to be here. I'm really excited to chat with y'all today. So as we get started, um, please feel free to share in chat. Um, if you would like to, if you haven't already, your name, the district or network of schools you're representing and your top autumn activity. Also, if you're in another area of the world where you might be experiencing a different season, feel free to share that as well. Um, I'll go ahead and share. My top autumn activity is carving pumpkins. Yes, it gets gooey and a little bit gross, but I really love like carving the pumpkin and I just love the whole vibe of like a spooky pumpkin with like a candle in it sitting in a window. Um, so I'm really excited for that for this autumn. I just moved to a new apartment and I have a lot of windows. So I may or may not buy um, a pumpkin for each window. Um, I'm seeing folks from all over the world. I see a corn maze, love a corn maze. Um, yeah, well, welcome folks. I see cooking, um, beautiful. So let's go ahead and dig in. Um, one quick heads up, we will be referring to a few different links throughout the session. Once folks finish sharing out in chat, I will post the link to the resource so that you have access to all of those links. So I'll share that out in just a moment. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and dig in. Amanda did a beautiful introduction, um, but a little bit more about me. My name is Blair and I oversee Clever's customer education program. I previously taught middle school English language learners and first through fourth grade technology class. And that's actually one of the reasons why I am so passionate about Clever. So I want you to picture it. I taught 470 kids a week. And in any given class, I would have around 29 students. So picture 29 first graders trying to get logged in at once. And just to really paint this picture, their username was lastname.firstname at kipdc.org. And their password was their month, day, and year. Most of my first graders didn't know what year they were born, let alone the month and the day, or to put a zero in front if it was a you know, if it was March and it was three. So needless to say, this was frustrating for everyone involved. And on a particularly tricky day, as a student tried to get logged in for the fifth time, he wisely put his hand on my shoulder and said, calm down, I'm only six. And I feel like that is super real talk from a six-year-old, but was very valid. You know, it was frustrating for everyone involved. And that's actually where Clever comes in. So between my third and fourth year teaching, my school adopted Clever. And we went from taking 15 to 20 minutes to get students logged in to about 30 seconds to a minute. My students used Clever badges to get signed in. And badges are printable QR codes. They're unique to each student and a student can hold it up to the webcam of their device and it will log them in without any typing. You can see this process in the animation on my screen. So this got students into their Chromebooks, logged into Clever, and logged into their computer programs. And Clever automatically rosters students to all of the programs they use. Sounds like magic, right? <laughs> it was. And it gave me more time to teach and my students more time to learn. And that is why I'm so excited to chat with y'all about Clever today. So throughout the next 20-ish minutes, we will dig further into what Clever is, its core teacher features, including some demos. And then we will wrap up with an opportunity for you to earn a certificate. We'll play a Kahoot, of course, and you'll have the opportunity to earn some swag. 
One thing I want to be really clear on, this session assumes that your district already uses Clever. That being said, you are absolutely welcome to attend, even if your district isn't using Clever yet. You just won't be able to log into Clever until your district signs up for it. So I just wanted to be really clear there. One of my favorite ways to explain what Clever is, is by showing a quick video. So I'm going to, we're going to show a quick video. And just a heads up, in case you have any trouble um, accessing the video, if the video is, oh, sorry, if the video is laggy or anything like that, I'm going to put the link to the video in chat so you can watch it um, after the session as well. there and welcome to Clever. I'm Lex and I'm going to give you a walkthrough of what Clever is, why teachers love it, and some of our top teacher features. Picture this, you have 25 students in your middle school ELA class. You've prepped an amazing lesson that uses several ed tech programs or apps. As students go to log in, you see one hand go up, then another, and another. Students can't remember their various usernames for different programs. Oh, and you have two new students today who don't even have accounts yet. Sounds like a nightmare, right? Sadly, for too many teachers, that's the reality of trying to use EdTech in their classrooms. We know that you come to school to build relationships with students and educate them, not to focus on tech support. That's where Clever comes in. Clever works with your district's Student Information System, or SIS, to automatically roster students into your ed tech programs. For example, if you have five math sections in your school's SIS, like PowerSchool, then those five math sections will be shared with Clever, which sends the sections to your math programs. If a student is added to your roster in your SIS, that student is automatically added to your ed tech programs. Same for when a student leaves your class or you get new classes in the fall. What's even better is that you and your students can use Clever to sign into your apps. Instead of trying to remember various logins and passwords, just click the apps icon in Clever and voila, you're automatically signed in. This is called Single Sign-On or SSO. Using Clever's SSO is easy and it comes with extra benefits. For example, when students log in with Clever, you can see which programs they're using in a quick glance. You can also easily troubleshoot sign-in issues for students in the moment by logging them in if they're having trouble. That's simply not possible with other SSO options. And there's more. Here are additional ways Clever can be useful to teachers. Sending students and guardians messages directly in Clever launching applications for an entire class or logging them out, using Clever Library to find new free and paid resources for your students with honest reviews from teachers like you, creating a teacher page to organize programs for your students along with links and PDFs. As former educators, we know these tools can save you lots of time and many other teachers agree. In fact, Clever is the most widely used single sign-on portal in the U.S. To get going with Clever, we recommend checking out Clever Academy if you haven't already. You can access it in your Clever account or by going to clever.academy. Schools work better with Clever, and we bet your classroom can too. Awesome. I just love that video. I think it does a great job summarizing what Clever is. Um, and I just want to name, if you're still a little fuzzy on what Clever is, no worries. We're going to be digging in to a lot of the teacher features together. And one clarifying comment um, I just wanted to mention, since some folks are asking, if your district is not yet using Clever, you would need to ask your district um, or charter network or private school. And Clever works across private, public, charter, district. Um, so all of those are options with Clever. 
And by the way, if you already are using Clever, you're in really good company because 65% of US K-12 schools are already using it. So you're part of a really big family. So in summary, Clever is a friendly portal that students and teachers can use daily to access the resources that they need. And as you saw in the video that we just watched, Clever acts as the hub connecting your school district to all of the applications you use and automatically updating as needed. But there's so much more to Clever that makes it a better option than other single sign-on tools. So let's talk a little bit about those. To start, we know that protecting students' data and privacy is one of the most important parts of your job. That's why we've invested in a world-class security and privacy team, and we've won a lot of accolades from across the ed tech industry. But in addition to that, we also work with nearly all of the ed tech applications you know and love, including the applications featured on your screen, and including Kahoot. So we've recently launched a full Kahoot integration. So no more pins or manual typing of names. You can use Kahoot in Clever for quicker access to one of your favorite apps for both you and your students. One last note I wanted to mention before I really start to dig into the teacher features is that we have a ton of folks here from all over the world in various time zones, and we haven't forgotten about you. We're working hard on international expansion starting in 2022, and we'll definitely keep you posted as we finalize any plans. Now, let's dig in to what Clever looks like in terms of the teacher experience. So as you heard in that video, teachers have a lot of features in Clever. To start, of course, they can access digital learning by using single sign-on or SSO for any application. But in addition to that, uh, you also, as a teacher, have the ability to access digital learning, set up a digital classroom, communicate with students and families, track student engagement activity, and even discover, try, and review over 100 learning applications with Clever Library. We're going to talk through each of these features over the next few minutes. So to start, let's take a look at how teachers can create a digital classroom with teacher pages. So teacher pages, uh, when I was a teacher using Clever, it was one of my favorite tools. Uh, teacher pages can be shared with one or more of your classes, putting the most important resources front and center. Many of our most successful teachers use their teacher page in addition to a learning management system like Google Classroom. Think of your teacher page as a one-stop shop for applications, links, PDFs, and more. Yeah, that'd be great. Example resources. Example resources you might add include a link to an assignment in Google Classroom or any other LMS you might use, links to things like your syllabus, classroom expectations, a Google form to request peer tutoring, or even a link to a YouTube video for a lesson you might be teaching. One of my favorite teachers, of, one of my favorite features about teacher pages is that you can use them to manage online learning. This includes logging students into an app logging them out of Clever, and helping students get signed into Clever if they're having trouble. So let's take a look in the actual product to see what teacher pages look like in the wild. So I am logged in as a teacher, and you'll see up at the top, I have several teacher pages that I've built for my classes. If I ever want to make a new one, I simply click the green add button in the bottom right hand corner. Let's take a look at my ELA classroom for, or my ELA teacher page for my um, high school class. And in traditional fashion, I got signed out because I'm presenting. Let me go ahead and sign in right quick. And we're back, beautiful. So you'll see up at the top, I have a teacher page that I built for my ELA classroom. You'll notice that I can customize the title, the description, and even I can personalize the icon for my class and as you'll notice, it supports animated GIFs, which I'm a big fan of. You'll notice that I've created various categories for my students. So I'm even linking to a Google Classroom assignment for Tuesday's lesson. I have a PDF of my syllabus for the day, for, uh, for, the, for the course, and our online learning expectations. Teacher pages are 100% customizable. So anything you see here is customizable. The icon, the name of the resource, the category, et cetera. 
you simply click the add button in the bottom right hand corner and you can add the resource that you want to be available for your students. This includes applications, PDFs, and links. If you ever want to update a category or a resource, you can update it in real time and it is available for your students in real time. So I, if you can't tell, I'm a really big fan of teacher pages. Um, I did want to do a quick chat poll in chat. What is one way you currently use teacher pages? Or if you're not yet using Clever, what's one way that you might use teacher pages? So I'm going to move on just so that we have time to get to everything, but I am excited to see your answers. In addition to teacher pages, Clever offers easy communication with students and families with Clever Messaging. So this is a newer tool that we launched um, at the beginning of COVID and messaging allows you to message students and families one-to-one -one or as part of a mass announcement. This is really neat, especially if you're using Clever daily because students have one spot to get going with their applications and also stay in touch with you. We've recently launched, launched announcements with, which gives teachers the ability to share messages with all of their students and families and better yet, we just launched auto translation into our six core languages, which include English, Spanish, Mandarin Chinese, Tagalog, Vietnamese, and Korean. So if a family or student uses one of those languages, it will automatically translate for them. And of course, you can also message students or families one-on-one. -on -one. And something I always like to call out is that students and families can never message each other. They can only message you as their teacher, keeping this a safer option for communication. Let's take a quick look at what messaging and communication looks like in the wild. So I am in my Clever account. Up at the top, if I click Messages, you'll notice I have a settings box where I can customize my name, upload a profile picture, and determine what types of notifications I want to receive. I can also message students or send an announcement to all of my students and even see which students have read the announcement. You can attach files, including images, PDFs, and sound, sound clips. And you'll notice up at the top, I can message parents as well, including parent announcements and one-to-one -one messages to parents. So this is a really handy feature that exists fully in Clever. And there's more information in the one pager that I shared out at the beginning of the webinar, which I'll share out again shortly. Now, my one of my personal favorite tools that we've launched um, in the last few years is Clever Analytics. This is a tool that allows you to keep track of student engagement and learning based on any application that students are using. So with class analytics, teachers can see which students have logged into Clever, the last time they logged in, and even which resources or programs that they're using or clicking on. So this is super helpful for getting a high level view of student engagement or keeping track of which students have completed an assignment in one of their learning applications or resources. So again, looking inside of Clever, you'll notice if you click analytics, you can see which students have been logging into Clever and various resources. So for example, we can see that Sean last logged in on September 14th, and the last resource he used was IXL. You'll notice there's filterability, so you can see which students were active in the last two days, the last three to seven days, and more than seven days ago. So as a teacher, I found this super helpful to know which students might need a little bit of extra support. So for example, these students have not signed in in the last seven days, which lets me know as their teacher that they might be experienced, experiencing tech trouble, or they might need me to reach out to their family and see what kind of support they need. Something I really love is that you'll notice there's an actions column, and if you click it, you can view their profile, which includes their family's contact information, the student contact information, um, and you have some ability to help the student. So for instance, if these students who haven't logged in in the last seven days are having trouble getting logged in, you can actually generate a login code for them and share this code with the student. And even if they've forgotten their login or their password to Clever, it will get them signed in. So it's a really handy tool, especially if you're in the middle of class and a student's telling you, oh my gosh, miss, I can't get logged in. You can share this code with them. 
Um, so the last feature we're going to talk about today is our most popular with teachers. So it's called Clever Library, and it helps you find new learning applications. So within Clever Library, um, you have a great place to discover free supplemental resources you can add to your portal. What's more, you can see information about the application, including how many other teachers have installed it, and view real authentic reviews from teachers like you. When you install an application through Clever, it automatically creates student accounts for all of your students with single sign-on access. So if you use a Clever Library app, you don't need to worry about a new login and password for you or your students, and your classes will automatically be sent to that application. Um, if you're not currently using Clever, you can still see our Clever Library and reviews. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in chat. So if you are not currently a Clever customer, you can still learn more about Clever Library with the link that I just put in chat. Let's go ahead and take a look at Clever Library in the platform. So you'll notice there are applications that are recommended by my district up at the top, but I can also filter by the subject I teach or the grade level um, to find applications. And you'll notice a familiar face here. So let's click on Kahoot, which recently was added to the Clever Library. So if I wanna learn more about Kahoot, I can click on the application and I can see teacher reviews and the total number of installations from teachers around the world. You can see screenshots and other information such as the subject, the pricing, and the grade levels available. My favorite part, and I have a hunch it might be your favorite part as well, are teacher reviews. So you can see reviews from real teachers with their thoughts about why they like the product or any feedback that they might have. And of course, this is not just for Kahoot. So you can see, let's say you're a science teacher who's teaching middle school. You can filter and look at applications that are most relevant to your needs and your students' needs. So there's a lot more to Clever than just those features, but th that is a high level overview. As we're near the end, um, I did wanna mention that if you are a current Clever user, you can actually earn a certificate for attending today. So if your district already uses Clever, you can earn level one Clever Academy certification just for attending today, just for hanging out with me. So I'm going to share the link in chat for you to um, earn level one certification. And just a heads up that this is completely free um, and optional. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in chat. So if your district is already using Clever, um, I'm also gonna put the link on the slide just in case you're not seeing it in chat. So if you complete this four question really quick assessment, you will automatically get a certificate um, emailed to you and a badge for completing level one of Clever Academy. Beautiful, but we didn't forget all of our wonderful international attendees. So we also have, of course, a Kahoot that is available for everyone. So if you were paying attention, which hopefully you were, this Kahoot should be a cinch. So I'm gonna go ahead and sh stop sharing my screen as we dig into this Kahoot. All right, let's give it, oh, beautiful, let's get started. All right, so which is a feature Clever does not offer? Beautiful, yep, you all are most, like most of y'all totally got it. We do not offer automated phone calls. We do offer messaging though. All right, who do we have in the lead? Beautiful, cool. We have three more questions though. So this one's a multi-select. What might you add to a teacher page? So there's more than one, correct, like there's more than one option here. Awesome sauce, yep. So you would not wanna share a link to a specific student on your teacher page because that goes to your entire class. So nice work, folks. All right, Loretto in first place. All right, true or false, Clever is available to districts for free. Beautiful, yep, so that is totally true. And our last question, is a word cloud. So what are you most excited about with Kahoot being integrated into Clever? Wow, y'all put a lot. 
Oh my gosh, did we break the Kahoot? <laughs> easy access, ease of use, love that. Single sign on SSO, love it. Beautiful. All right, so let's see who won. We have prizes for the top three folks. So congratulations, Jerry C. Uh, La Lanias, if I said that correctly. And Donna, congratulations. So we will be reaching out. Um, if you were one of our winners, we will reach out to you directly. Amanda, I will pass it back to you. And I just want to thank everyone so much for the time. It's very fun. Thank you so much, Blair. I think we all learned a lot. And it's definitely true that Clever makes our lives as teachers and students a lot easier. Thank <laughs> you.